Melissa with Bandy's Closet and I'm going to thrift a little bit today. So I thought I'd take you guys with me. Um, I'm gonna try to, <laughs> to uh, videotape inside the store, but I'm not sure how successful I will be. So if nothing else, I will show you if I buy anything at all, I'll show you afterwards. So, but you may get some footage in between. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so I attempted to film a little bit in there, but mm, I don't think it really went well. I I need to perfect that art of holding a camera while trying to look through clothes. Plus, it didn't help that one of the clothing racks of the dresses, which I may or may not even show that part, um, was too high. <laughs> it's like it was above my head. I'm, I'm short. So I ended up getting a few things. So I got this candies. It's size seven, so it's juniors. But look at the studs. Isn't that cute? It's a little mini skirt. Has two pockets. Has a back zip. It goes all the way down. So it completely unzips. And I just thought that is so cute. You can wear those with leggings. Awesome. Those are very cute. So the next thing is Maurice's. I don't pick up everything Maurice's. This is a small. I do have a lot of small things in my store, but this is a high low type of uh it's like a mini skirt that has like a cut out in the front but then it's the back of it is long so it's like a high low thing i'm in my car so let me shoot back up okay i'm in my car so i apologize if it's hard to see what i'm showing but we're just gonna have to stick with it right just gonna have to deal this is bongo I don't pick up everything bongo but I think it's a junior thing but isn't it so cute it's a skirt and it's a long skirt I just love the pattern and um, it's like a abstract um, Aztec type pattern I just I loved it so I got it we'll see what it does Talbots. I have pretty good. I have a pretty good um, luck with Talbots, and this is a really pretty. It zips down the side. It's a pretty skirt. It's a. It's like a midi skirt. It has this kind of um, bottom. I thought it was just really pretty. Someone's gonna want. It has nice fall colors. They're just those greens and oranges and reds and just. It makes me think of fall. Which, just around the corner people this is Caslon. it's a 12 it's just your typical black plain black mini skirt well yeah somewhat mini it's you know it's probably above it's above the knee but it's cute i found this top shop size four dress and i just thought this was so cute nice rolled up sleeves I don't know if they unroll they do not they're supposed to be that way so they're perpetually rolled up but there's no stains on it and perfect I am not familiar with this brand but I love 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 this dress I just thought it was so pretty so we'll see I mean the dresses aren't oh it's free people I'm so glad that I just said you know what I love this dress it's new romantics but it's very top, very, very, very small print. This is free people. I'm in selfie mode, so yeah, that's why um, they're backwards, but you're just gonna have to deal. Isn't it cute? So adorable. And the bottom, I love the bottom. Just great, because it's like a double skirt. But that, that, um, that little detail, so pretty. I love their stuff love 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 free people so i'm excited <laughs> yay and this was j crew it's j crew factory but that's okay it's nice stretchy lint on it nice stretchy um like fit and flare dress it's really hard to show a dress in here but it's cute it's a nice it's a nice blue it's a nice blue can i get that to nah. It's not this lighting is not good not good for this um, this is lucky brand and these are size what size something obviously 
They're skinnies. I don't know. I will figure it out. I'm sure it's in here somewhere what size it is. But it's authentic, skinny, lucky brand. It even says the, uh, it's a button fly and it says lucky you. Oh, 3032s. I wonder if these are men's. But in the inside, it does not say lucky me. It just says lucky you on the outside. I'll have to figure these out. But these are men's or not. The pockets are pretty deep. And that usually is an indication that if something is men's, is the pockets are pretty deep. So, and I think the men's Lucky brand actually does better than women's. I hear I hear a lot of YouTubers saying that, that the men's does better for them. We'll see. I found these Tommy Hill figure um, skinny crop jeans. And I hope they're real. But um, they say, well, I figured they would be because the grommets on the outside have that, the T and the H, and on the inside they say Tommy Hilfiger. So I assume if you're going to actually make a knockoff of, of some jeans, you're not going to go through the trouble to stamp all your, all your grommets. So it says Tommy Hilfiger. Or not, yeah, Hilfiger. My brain. But it's, it's a cool wash. It's a nice, like, it's like a faded wash. You know, it's a color, but a faded wash. It's just really cool. And it's a skinny. I said that already. And it has zips on the leg. I mean, this looks practically brand new. It, I don't see any wear on these at all. That's nice. Okay. These are Chico's So Slimming uh, leg. They're size zero, which equates to... It equates, I think, to a size 6 or a size 8, something like that. I think these are high-rise size 6. So, and then they have the bottoms all rolled up, but obviously they don't have to be. I got, I got a fair amount of shoes. Well, four pairs. So, oh yeah, I found Rich and Skinny. Rich and skinny. And these look really good. It's a button fly. Um, and I, you know, I'm so glad I follow people on Instagram because I was looking at these and um, I was like, you know what? I remember those. I remember seeing those on somebody else's Instagram and uh, they look good. I mean, they have a little bit of wash wear, but beyond that, they look. And they've obviously been washed a few times, but they look good. They're in good condition. They have no unintended rips or because, you know, it is, um, we call it distressed and it's been destroyed a little bit, but there's no holes, but that would, that would be right in line with the actual um, style of these. And these are the kind where they've distressed like the bottoms already. So, yeah. Okay, we're done shoes. Cause my lap is getting, you can see my lap's getting a little, oh, I should pull up the same pair of shoes, right? So I got some Vince Camuto. I need to take some Goo Gone to get that out. Um, but these are size, size six and a half, which is about, six is as low as I like to go. Six and a half, it's a, it'll be a little bit of hard sell, but it is patent leather, so it is real leather. I try to only get real leather shoes. And then these Borns. These are cute. These are real leather as well. I love that plaid. Yeah, that little plaid. And these are Born thing. And leather, upper and leather lining. And I love the inside of these shoes. And just like, I like patterns they put on the inside of shoes, but really pretty leather bow they have on the outside and these are another pair of borns these ones I will use that um because they have a few scratches and stuff which um 
the empty hanger suggested using in her shoe videos that she made and she made some really she made a three-part series so go watch it um if you have struggled with shoes it was they were really good and informative and i i do pretty good with cleaning shoes but um she suggested a few product products including her light box which i do now have um that actually make it better so one of them is a um doc dr martin's not doc martin's but dr martin's um shoe balsam and um it does make the leather darker so if when if you're gonna put it on here it's gonna make it darker it just that's what it does but what it does is it will you see how it's all um kind of scuffed a little bit so what it does is it conditions the leather because this is real leather um because i did yes leather and um so it will condition it and i will do the flower as well so it would all match i won't do underneath but i would do on top um well maybe i wouldn't do the flower because the flower the flower looks cool it doesn't really need it but the shoe itself it, it would need some a uh, little bit of care because it will condition it and it will hide those little marks and so it won't it won't show those and then these are Clark's and they have cushion they're size 11 yeah US 11 but I thought they were really pretty and it's like that wool fabric on the outside it has a cool metal um what do you call it embellishment I guess so yeah, that's what I got. And oh yeah, I got these two. I don't know how to really work these, but I like them and they say Nordstrom's on them. <laughs> They're only a couple dollars. So, eh. I mean, I wonder if you just put them in here. No. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they actually work. I'll have to play around with them. But you know, they, what is that action? What is that doing? What is that? I don't understand. So yeah, I'll have to figure out what, how to use these, but I thought they were cool. If nothing else, it was a couple bucks. So that's all I'm out if I can't if I can't figure it out or they're just not useful to me. So anyway, that's that part of my haul. And I'm going on to another thrift store that I can only get to these two thrift stores on Saturdays. Um, because I do work from home, but my schedule is eight to four thirty, and that thrift store I just went to that I just showed you that I got the stuff from that thrift store um, shuts down at five during the week so I can't get there in time in order to even look around and I like to shop there um, because it does support um, domestic women victims of domestic violence mainly women and families because um, I, I believe they fund they help fund the battered women's shelter in my town and so I do like to shop there for that reason but their prices can be a little high, so I have to be really selective with what I buy from them. Unless they're having like their $2 day. And then sometimes they have $2 days, and so anything is $2, which is kind of nice. But, okay, I'm done with this part. Stay tuned for the rest. Okay, so I went to the second one. I spent probably too much. But that's neither here nor there. So, I will just get into it. I'll get to the little bag first. So this is Bowden. Oh, there you go. It looks like it was from another boutique because um, it has a, like a handmade tag on it. But I got this for um, not that much. But oh, I should show you what it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm an amateur. That's okay. It's This is orange. Oh, back here you can see it. It's purple and orange. It has uh, yellow lines down. It's so cute. So, and Bowden dresses go for a good amount. So I feel okay spending what I did. I have to go through this and see how much I spent over. Well, I know how much I spent overall, but I'll have to see how much price per piece. Now, this is cool. It does have some deodorant marks on it. I'll have to wash that off, but I can get it off. This is bad to the bone. And, you know, I, this is only a couple dollars. So, even if it doesn't sell, I thought it looked really cool. It's a tank top. Has this really cool graphic on the back. I don't know if it's men's or women's. It was in the women's section. 
So we'll see. I will, I will try to see. I'll try to find a website and see if there's um, a size chart on it and then take my own measurements and then see that way. So this one is ex, ex officio. I think that's how you say it. it's dry release and it's, you know, for working out or whatnot, or maybe just for regular wear. Um, but I thought the pattern looked really cool and I've seen, I think I've seen other YouTubers um, say that it's actually a pretty good brand. This is the old style cabbie and there's nothing wrong with it. It was just really pretty. So I thought, why not? It's long sleeved, long sleeve blouse. Might as well get it. And a Nike, Nike with a big swish top, big logo spell out. So, and it's a, it's a size large. So that'll be, that'll be good. Candies. So cute. I love this. I love candy. Candy actually sells pretty good for me. And look at the detail on this. It needs to be washed. No, that's just, that's just a weird. No. I mean, it's going to be steamed. That's for sure. But, but I love the back. The back doesn't actually button, but it just has these faux buttons on the back, which I think is so cute. And this is a size small, but honestly, I'm going to take measurements and it looks like a, it looks like a med it could be a medium if it really wanted to be or an oversized small. I just put this on my lap. Probably be easier. Sorry about the, I found some Nike. These are extra small, but I thought the pattern was really cool. So they're just regular like running leggings jogging and these are adidas they're probably their size small well it says small eight to ten. Eight to ten is a medium so whatever this is like climate it's on the back of them and Oh, no, it's on the front of them. That's the front. Hi. Because here's a little... Oh, no. I lied. Nope. Yeah. Here's a little hidden pocket for your key or some money or your, your ID wouldn't fit in there. Oh, that's weird. No, that's the back. So, I guess it goes in the back. <laughs> Put your key in the back. Because the Adidas logo is right here. So, it makes no sense if that's on the back. Anyway, I think these are joggers or yoga pants whatever now okay this this store I just went to will put like all their St. John's in this different section where they put all these red tags and they put these super super outlandish prices on them twice a year they go on sale like twice a year their red tags go on sale um, although I like to shop at this place because they, um, are part of Operation School Bell. And so they help clothe children for school, um, that can't afford school clothes. So that's really nice. So when I'm buying over, it's kind of overpriced sometimes, but it goes to a good cause. So you, I give them the charity. So this is St. John's that they missed. It's just like a knit tank top. Um, I don't think it'll go for too terrible amount of money, but I paid like three bucks for it. I'll pay three bucks for St. John's. That's fine. And that's not St. John's Bay because that's not that's not the same thing. That's really cheap. This is Eliza J. I even, I thought this dress was really cute for one. So I thought that was great. The tie doesn't actually come off, so you can't lose it. That's nice. Um, and it is kind of has a stretchy waist on the back. Um, it buttons down, has tab sleeves. So when you have this little thing on the outside, and then you have inside, there will be this little guy that comes out, like you unbutton here, and then you button this up here, and it becomes a tab sleeve. So that's what that's called. So that's, that's that. I'm gonna make the noise to put all this back in here real quick. So then I can fill up my lap with this big bag I got of stuff. Ooh. Okay. This is Lucky Brand. 
I can get it open. I thought that the, this is so cute. There's no holes, no stains. Isn't that just adorable? I love that print. And I love that it's so soft. I mean, it must have like a polyester blend of some kind. Made in Guatemala. It's only a couple dollars. Totally well worth it. Angry Birds. No, I've never been a big fan of the... i played it before. Eh, it's okay. But people love the paraphernalia from it. Like the merch from it. So here's an Angry Bird. Cute, right? They are cute. I do like that they are cute. Um, I couldn't pass this up. It's only a couple dollars. Um, I think it's an alpaca or it's a llama. It's one of them. I think it's a llama. A llama with headphones. How could you say no to that graphic tee? I do not have that kind of power. So I did not. Now this is not a some, it's not even, a, I mean, and that was like fusion. I think it was fission fission. It's a large made in El Salvador. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look it up. Maybe it's worth something. I don't know. If nothing else, I will keep it because it's cute. This has no tag inside. But you know what I love? I love this graphic. It's like a sweatshirt material, thin sweatshirt material. Isn't she cute? I saw this a while ago when I went a couple months ago. And today it was half off. So it was $4.50, so half off that. I'll buy that because this is my size. Well, it looks big enough to be my size. So I'm keeping it. Neon Buddha. I don't know about this brand. It was, this was cheap. But I loved like the individual, like the, just the stuff on it. It just, it looked cool. And then um, it has this kind of weird neckline that folds over right there and then the sleeve, sleeves are all tabbed. I think you can undo them. You can. They, you can bring this out. And the back. The back is what looks really cool. Maybe it's worth nothing. I think I can wear this. Eh, it's a medium. Maybe not. But hey, I thought it was really cool. Maybe Neon Buddha is worth something. We will find out. Sometimes I just pick stuff up if it's cheap enough just to try it. Because the um, reception on there is kind of crappy. So it's kind of hard to um, look stuff up some that times. So I only look up things that I'm like, huh, I wonder. So like the Eliza J dress, there's another one in there that I thought looked too well made to be cheap. So um, I looked it up and it took forever. This is hip. Not a big brand. But it's adorable. I loved it. And it has this cute cream crochet bot trim on the front. It's not on the back. I've sold a couple of these before. I mean, tank tops here are actually pretty cheap. They're only a couple dollars. So, I mean, I think the last time I had a hip one, it sold for 15 bucks. You know, that's cool. I mean, that's for $15 on Poshmark, that's $12 profit. Well, it's $12 and you take like $2 out, it's a $10 profit. You know, it's not a big money maker, but it's cute and people like it. So this is Nike. And it's the, I think it's a dry fit. Yeah, it is dry fit. But it's vented in the back. See the little holes? That's vented. And so um, it's woman's and there's no holes, there's no stains. So I picked it up, only a couple dollars. Um, This is Brooks. And I don't know if it, oh, it is for women. Brooks for women. I didn't really know about this brand a whole lot until my friend Scott actually introduced it to me. Um, he had bought some Brooks shoes. Um, it has a little zip pocket. I think it has two or just one. No, just one. One little zip pocket. It's kind of on the side so you can put your, like, your ID in your wallet. You can use this for jogging. Anyway, so he told me about it, and then I started looking at that, that brand. I'm like, oh, this brand is actually worth a bit. Um, Susie Chin for Maggie Boutique. I don't know if this is actually worth anything. Um, it's a size 6, but I love it. This is half off. So I got this dress for, for $4. Eh. It's pretty, though. I love the, the, like, the pleated bodice. 
and then it has a defined waist and then has this just really pretty and it's like a um it's like a midi dress because yeah it'll eh, maybe it'll come a little bit past your knees i think that's considered midi still i get confused sometimes this mickey mouse um tank top and i think this might be vintage made in usa i don't think they make anything in usa anymore i don't think they have in years so i really think and there's not any holes it's not pilly it's great so i'm pretty sure that that's vintage so we'll see how much it, it was only a couple dollars so even if it's not vintage no big deal this is an adidas jacket and it's like pink it's like a salmon -y pink and black so it's small but you know it's it's a nice it's a nice jacket and i only picked up for a few bucks i only spent a few bucks on it so no big deal this is seven for all mankind they're not the dojos they are boot cut um but they're they're just blue and so i thought why not it's only a couple bucks worst case scenario they don't sell because i know i think those other two dresses um those other dresses have a good chance of selling so and if i can sell them for what i looked comps up um i didn't look up comps for the bowden but i'm pretty sure they don't aren't very cheap um and those eliza j dresses um they go for like anywhere from like 75 to like 200 dollars so I'll have to try to find those exact styles that I got. Just to see. This is Isaac. Oh, yeah. Isaac Mizra. Mizrahi? Mizrahi. Mizrahi? Sorry if I'm butchering that. Live. So, they're size 10. They're just black. They're just black jeans. But, um, they're kind of, they're kind of have like a... They're not really straight leg. They're more like a slim fit straight. So I picked them up because size 10, slim fit straight. Usually does okay. Usually does pretty good. They weren't that expensive, so why not? Okay. This is Halogen. It's a Nordstrom's brand um, denim. But what I loved about these is it has this really cool... Um, like a yellow wash so it's more like a um, it's like that kind of yellowy not yellow it, I guess that's the wrong I've never seen sepia paper you know it has that has that it's kind of like that yellowy sepia look these have that that's what kind of reminds me of it so I picked those up figured why not and this is, it's small, extra small, but I love extra small pink, very Victoria's Secret. I thought that was really cute though. Just a t-shirt. And here's a Prana. It's a size small, but it's a, it's a tank top. It's pink. It's, it's bright pink. And um, it has, has like that layered look where it's that smoothie one on the out, inside but that kind of see-through one on the outside, but they're connected so you can't separate them. Okay. Oh yeah, that other dress is like literally the bottom. Okay, I don't know if this is a good brand or not. It's called Hooked Up. Hooked Up by IOT. I don't know. Um, I just thought it was super, super cute. So I decided just to take a chance on it. It has these two buttons that come, they unbutton. So you don't have to wear it like that. Have these two little tiny pockets. Little tiny pocket. So cute. But why not? Almost done. This I think is vintage. It's only like five bucks. So I picked it up. It's IB Dis Diffusion. It's in large. But it's. Oh yeah it is. Yeah. All I had to do is read the tag. The tag says 1990. Right there. Well, it's backwards, whatever. In 1990, 
um, assembled and finished in Hong Kong, knit in China. So when it was done, well, I don't know if this was exactly 1990, but I don't, I don't think it's around anymore. But look at this print. Oh my God. It's like sequins. Oh yeah. And it's silk, 58% silk, 30% nylon, 10% Angora rabbit hair, and 2% lamb's wool. Dry clean only, basically. But look at these sequins. Aren't they so adorable? And sequins is in. So this super soft, like I just want to, I just want to lay on it forever. I love this, this sweater. But, and it has this cute um, keyhole cut out in the back. It's adorable. And I'm pretty sure I can get a pretty good amount for that sweater. Oh, yeah. So this is the what I found. This is the Eliza J one I found. Isn't that, here's the tag. And I just, when I felt it, it felt expensive. And then, you know, isn't it pretty? And then on the back, this giant gold exposed zip. And it has Eliza J stamped on the um, zipper. And um, that's what made me look it up. Because I was like, oh, it has those holes, has those stains. It looks practically brand new. Like, I don't know if anyone wore this much because it's in really good condition. But that's the dress I looked up. I couldn't find its exact dress, but I found a lot of other dresses like that, and they were going from $75, and I think one of them, one of them went for $250, but I think that one was brand new with tag. No, it was $300, that one was brand new with tag, this one's not. But I, I found a bunch like in that range. I'm gonna recheck that, and I'm gonna try to find the exact dress and try to see if I can you know, find the comps, because even if it goes for like 60, 75 bucks, that's totally worth it. One item worth that much. That's awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much what I got. Um, only went to two places. Probably not going to go any more places today. I'm going to go home and call it a day. So I will have to edit this and then I can put it out. So thank you for watching and I hope you subscribe, hit the little bell. And um, right now, I'm running a, right now today is, what is today? It's the end of August. So it's like August 26th right now. Um, and so this is the day I'm going to upload this. This morning I started a Instagram, co not contest, but a giveaway. So to, I'm giving away $25 in Amazon gift card. So you get that via email. Um, whoever I choose next Saturday, which is the 1st of September of 2018. If you're watching this later, I'm sorry, it's no longer running. You, um, don't have to be a U.S. resident, but you must be, well, it's going to be in equivalent of $25 in U.S. So if you're not a U.S. resident, um, and you do win my giveaway, then it will be, um, the equivalent amount to 25 U.S. dollars. So it won't be 25, whatever your currency is. Um, anyway, so go to my Instagram account. It's under Vandy's underscore closet. It's exactly the same name as my YouTube channel. And, um, and then subscribe. Well, not subscribe, I guess. Follow me, like my post and put some people tag a few friends individually because each line is one, um, is one insertion. So if you put six people on one line, you're gonna get one insertion. But if you put six people on multiple lines, you get six insertions, or not insertion, speaking eBay, um, you get <laughs> entries. There we go, that's the word I was looking for, entries. You get that many entries. So um, go to my Instagram account, and I hope you um, subscribe here, and you have to subscribe to me on YouTube and on Instagram, so both places. I was going to just do Instagram, but I thought, you know what? I might as well grow my YouTube channel at the same time. So if you want to enter my giveaway and you want 25 free dollars, maybe then subscribe to both. Thank you so much. Have a great day.